I'm not pregnant or anything because that's always the first thing that people ask or want to think and go whisper blah, 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 and talk like, I wonder if she's pregnant. No, something that my therapist said to me one day. Honestly, woo, that's like a whole sermon. 30s is really looking up for me, y'all. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm about to get ready for my birthday photo shoot. I'm turning 30. Actually, by the time you guys see this, I will already be 30. So crazy, time is like flying, it's insane. But I'm actually excited and I'm embracing 30s and I feel better than I ever have before. I just feel just in a really good headspace right now. I think mentally, emotionally, I am just in a good place. And so while I get ready, I kind of wanted to chit chat with the girls a little bit and just tell you guys a couple of things that I'm doing differently at 30. Because there's a lot of things that I have changed, things have switched up, I'm prioritizing things differently. I'm just seeing things differently in general. And it's a good place to be. So let's go ahead and get ready because y'all know, as usual, I'm running late. First things first, I always actually like to do my hair first. This is gonna be the style for today, but I do want to slick one side back a little bit. Oh no, we got a little flaking. Anytime there's edge control involved in my hair look, I have to do that first because once you have makeup on it gets all cakey and just mm -mm, not a good situation I'm gonna try a new edge control today. I had this is by curl days. It's their grow days hold it cream I have never tried this before Oh, but it's looking like a cream. Is this a cream or an edge control? Hold on. I don't even think this is an edge control. Please hold I need I need the slick. Okay, I'm grabbing this Shea Moisture Edge Control or Edge Gel is what it's called. I'm just going to slick my edges just a little bit. Just a little bit, you know? Wow, I'm getting these edges done. We might as well just talk about my hair because the, the space I'm in with my hair right now feels like such a beautiful space because I, I have never been happier with my hair. I know you guys will be excited to hear that I am really, really loving the long hair. I am enjoying it so, so much. I love the long hair look on me now. And I've also been enjoying doing like different styles and stuff randomly. It's just so much more hair. So I have just so much more to play with and experiment, you know? It feels fun. It feels good. It feels cute. I think I'm just going to keep the edges pretty simple. This is, that's it. That's it. That's all I'm doing with my hair today. <laughs> love that. But yeah, when it comes to my hair, I just feel so completely at peace. I don't feel like I'm desperate to get to a certain length. I don't feel like, oh my God, I just, if I could just fix this one thing about my hair, like I would love it. Like I just, I'm so happy and solid with the way my hair is right now. The routines, the routine is simple. The routine is effective. And I love that. I can pump out a wash and go in like an hour now. I've even started also, oddly enough, I actually have been slowly kind of reincorporating co-wash into my routine. Not real, let me not say routine because this is not like a super regular thing that I'm doing like every single week, but every once in a while, instead of just doing like a regular full wash, full shampoo, the whole shebang, I will just do now what I call like a little quick wash. Actually, that is what this hair is from. I washed my hair yesterday morning Really quickly, in about 45 minutes, I was done. I went in with the Authentic Beauty Concepts co-wash, and then I just styled really quickly with the Brio Geo gel and then the Dew Mousse on top, and that was it, y'all. It was just a super, super quick wash. And for a quick wash, I don't really expect it to last super long. I just wanted to wash it very quickly so I can have my hair out for the shoot, and then I'm traveling, so I want to wash my hair very freshly and do like the full wash, the whole situation on Friday so I can make sure that my hair is gonna last me for my entire birthday trip. But yeah, like I just say all that to say, like I just feel happy that at what, we're at like over six years now being natural, crazy. Um, but after six years now, I just, I don't know, I'm just I'm just in this really peaceful space with my hair. My main goal is to just obviously continue maintaining happy and healthy hair. In another video, I spoke to y'all a little bit about, you know, how I'm like off the braids thing. I think that's a whole other thing, you know, that has been helpful to my hair and my scalp. I don't think I ever realized how damaging the braids were for my hair. Um, it may not be for everybody's hair, but I just know for my hair, especially with having some color in it, my ends were not having it. My ends were not having me doing multiple protective styles per year. So I just, I feel really at peace with that decision. I'm literally going on a seven day cruise. We're going on a Mediterranean cruise, y'all. I am actually 
beyond excited for it and so extra excited about the fact that I will not have to be fighting my scalp because I'm not going with a protective style. Like I just, I just feel a lot of relief in that decision, you know, where it's like, actually, your curls are easy enough to handle. There's no need to put my hair and scalp through all of that stress. Like literally actually no need. By the way, this new Huda Beauty Easy Blur Foundation, ma'am, get into her. I love it. A lot of people were talking crap about the packaging saying it's like cheapy and stuff, but I like it because it's lightweight, easy to travel with and stuff. And honestly, the blur on the skin is for real. Like, mm, mm. and we haven't even gotten anywhere yet. I also really love to wear it with color corrector and the concealer, but where did I put the concealer? Concealer, boom. So the foundation with the color corrector and then the concealer, bomb.com. I actually really love this complexion combo a lot. Another thing that I'm doing differently, y'all, is something that I never, ever, 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 ever in my life thought that I would be doing or not doing, which is drinking alcohol. I, where is my brush? Where is my brush? I have not had a sip of alcohol since, August, I did have a sip of a mimosa. That's all I did in August. Before August, I think my last drink was like in June. Like I just haven't been feeling like drinking. So I haven't been drinking, which is so crazy to say out loud because for so long, you know, when friends are like, let's get lit and blah, blah, blah. Like I literally get red and swollen every single time every single time i drink it could be one little drink not even anything crazy and i will still be red swollen and puffy there's something in my blood i have asian blood and if you look it up on google i think i've talked about this with y'all before if you look it up on google it is called asian flush it basically feels like i'm having an allergic reaction every time i drink and i would always feel like just well social setting like of course you drink like you just don't not drink you know but what really turned the tables for me was when i went to a bachelorette trip and me and Emily, you guys know Emily, you've seen Emily. She was the one who came to Beyonce with me. Number one Beyonce fan. Her and I went to our friend Ashley's bachelorette trip. We both decided from way before, we're like, okay, we're gonna be each other's buddies. We're both not drinking. And I feel like that is when it was really highlighted to us that like, oh my gosh, we're on a bachelorette trip and we are still having the absolute time of our lives without any alcohol. Like. It was like a light bulb went off, like, whoa. We were dancing for hours and hours on end, shaking our booty cheeks, like, in the club, in the lobby of the hotel. Like, we were turning up and having a good time, but, like, for me and Emily, it was, like, minus the alcohol. Minus feeling like crap and on the struggle bus for the next few days. You know what I mean? Like, it just felt so good. And I feel like that was the first time ever that I realized, wait, like, you can, you can be social and turn up and have a really good time without alcohol. Which sounds so crazy, but that is the actual truth. Like, I was like, whoa. I feel like it might sound a little crazy to think like that had to be a revelation for me. Like, if you don't wanna do something, don't do it. But I just, I don't know. For some reason, alcohol is just so expected in social situations. I'm just glad I have finally come to that revelation is like, if you don't wanna do something that doesn't make you feel good, then don't do it and you'll, you'll get to feel really good. <laughs> I still don't feel like I'm in a place where I'm like, I'm never drinking alcohol ever again. But at the same time, like I also still definitely don't have the desire to drink it at all. Like I've just been feeling so good and I just want to keep it going. I think my body is so happy. My body is way less swollen. Like honestly, some of my pants are fitting me differently. Like the waist feels loose. Like the pants that used to feel really tight around the waist are now feeling a little loose. I got a little bit of room. So I'm like, you know what? This is doing some good for my body. I feel good. Let's just see how it goes. So that's really my plan with alcohol. I'm just kind of going with the flow. Really the bottom line is I am just really and truly not doing anything that makes me feel bad anymore. Whether or not everybody else around me is doing it, I'm just not doing it. And what that's really caused me to really become a little bit more in tune with myself and be like, okay, well, what is it that you actually want? How are you feeling right now? Like, you know? So that obviously has felt like really, really good. I also love the fact that my family and my friends, like I just mentioned to them, I'm not, I'm not drinking, I don't feel like drinking. And I'm so proud to have like the kind of family and friends who A, either aren't 
drinking either or just support it and don't be like, come on, just one, you know? Like, I just can't stand that. Like I've said, I've told you what I wanna do, respect it and shut the f up. I'm just too old now to be doing things that I don't wanna do. And I'm, I'm just, I'm not doing that. I'm not pregnant or anything. Cause that's always the first thing that people ask or wanna think and go whisper blah, 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 and talk like, I wonder if she's pregnant. No, I am not pregnant. I am not trying to get pregnant, none of that. I am nowhere near that whole time of my life, if it ever even happens. I am just simply choosing not to drink alcohol because it makes me feel like crap. Found that a lot of people are also starting to consider it too. If that's actually something that's been in the back of your mind, you've been kind of thinking like, hmm, maybe I kind of want to take a break. Take a break and see how you feel. I'm using my Patrick Ta Major Dimensions 3 palette and it is my favorite thing ever. Definitely one of my favorite palettes, like hands down. The shades are so blendable. It makes me feel like I can actually do eyeshadow. I'm gonna have to stop talking for a quick second because I need to do a wing and I need maximum concentration for my wing. Okay, I didn't mean to make it that thick, but here we are, we're in there. If you wanna learn how to do a wing, I highly recommend you get like an angled brush. It is so much easier. And then the Patrick Top palette has creams in there and I've actually been using this as eyeliner. And it's been working really well for that, so I love it. I think I also spoke to you guys in another video about how I started back therapy. I've been learning a lot about myself in therapy, especially the fact that, I mean, I always knew that I was a people pleaser, but now I've been learning more about setting boundaries. And you always hear like boundaries, 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 but like I, I took some like classes about boundaries on better health. Um, and the classes, by the way, are like, whenever you're signed up, it's not like additional to take those classes. And it's nice because it's like pressure free because it's like just a class that you just watch and then you can use the chat feature and talk or you could just hang out in the chat and just watch and not interact with anybody. Like there's no pressure for you to talk or tell your story or anything and I like that. Just going to those classes, like I always say, like you don't know what you don't know. That's why education is so important and learning is so important. When it came to boundaries, I definitely didn't know what I didn't know because there's just so much that I learned about boundaries and what it means and how to properly execute that for yourself. And as a people pleaser, it was just kind of like light bulb moment, you know? It has made a big difference in my life because it has really forced me to, again, get more in tune with myself and figure out what it is that I want and stop worrying about what it is that everybody else wants because that is my default setting. What is it that I want? What is my ideal outcome here? Let's do that. What can, what can we do? What steps can we take? in order for me to get my best outcome and not for me to be working so hard to get the best outcome for other people, you know what I mean? So that's definitely been beautiful and I think the whole thing about prioritizing myself, especially as it relates to like my relationship with alcohol, which sounds crazy. That sounds a little dramatic, like I'm an alcoholic or something, which I definitely never was. Those boundaries definitely go hand in hand with no longer drinking alcohol because that, that's a boundary I set right off the bat now. Quickly and easily, I'm not drinking. Period, that's it. It's as quick and easy as that. It's just been so beautiful and kind of freeing for me almost to be like, whoa, I get to finally do for myself what I've been trying to do for everybody else this whole time. I am so focused now on pleasing Alyssa. That's the only person I'm pleasing these days. I'm not saying I'm perfect at it because it's still my default setting. The thought still comes to my mind, but it's about like, you know, interrupting those thoughts. And I'm like, wait a second, wait a second. We're not doing that. We're not doing that anymore. It's me season, it's me era. Oh, y'all, I have also been sleeping on the Huda Beauty Powder. You may already use it because I feel like everybody uses it, but this was my first time using it. The last, oh, 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 a lot of powder came out. I've definitely also been speaking up a lot more in general, just like about things I want, about things I don't want. Like I'm, I still feel the fear of like, should I ask, is this gonna be awkward or blah, 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 blah. Like that fear of like feeling like you're asking for too much or something. Um, I still feel the fear, but I do it anyway. Quick side note, do you see the difference here? Set, not set. She's like a little more bright, a little more awake. Do we love? I think we love. I'm not trying to be just, little old misagreeable anymore. I wanna speak up, live my truth, speak my truth, and be myself. I feel like all that's to say that I have 
really been investing in myself mentally, emotionally, I will say financially as well. I'm getting up, I'm going to the gym. Guys, I've even started wearing my Apple Watch to bed because my Apple Watch does sleep tracking now. Like I, that's how in tuned I am with myself and my body like I just want to learn more about me and and when I'm educated about these things I can make the, the best decisions for myself you know what I mean actually at first I was like really kind of like grossed out about sleeping with a watch on but honestly I'm used to it it's like second nature now for me to sleep with my watch and I'm getting really good insights from it when I feel my absolute best I get nine plus hours of sleep which obviously is very very difficult to get consistently but I'm trying and if it weren't for my Apple watch I wouldn't know that about myself you know so yeah, just lots of, just lots of prioritizing myself, lots of learning myself and knowing myself and loving myself. It just feels so good. Oh my gosh, my new motto. You guys, my new personal motto is, I trust myself because I honor myself. How beautiful is that? I trust myself to make the right decisions even if I make a mistake or end up somewhere where I don't wanna be or whatever. I trust myself to get myself right back to where I need to be because I do honor myself at the end of the day and it doesn't matter what happens in life, it doesn't matter what comes up, what happens, what doesn't happen, like I trust myself because I honor myself and as long as I'm honoring myself, I'm doing what needs to be done. As long as I am honoring myself, we're good. We are good because I, I feel good about having my own back, you know, and that is just extremely freeing i hope that motto speaks to you because it's definitely really been speaking to me and i just literally that's what i want to live my life by and you know how i got to this quote actually it was from something that my therapist said to me one day where i was like stressing about some stuff that had happened in the past and then also anxious about what that would mean for my future and just really going through it right she said look when you over obsess about things that have already happened in the past that's where you can start to feel depression you feel depressed about those things and then in the future is where anxiety lives so what you have to do is just focus on being present just being right here right now what is it you need right here right now don't think about what you're going to need next week don't think about decisions that you're going to have to make that's going to affect you in 10 years like where are you at right here right now and what can you do to honor yourself right here and today so freeing for a perfectionist because i'm always trying to like do both I, and i didn't realize that i was just constantly reviewing like okay what has happened in the past how can i like avoid getting into that situation in the future how can i ensure the best possible future for myself you know what i mean like that is so it's such a toxic cycle to be in and you end up never being present right here in the moment and so it's not it wasn't until she said that i was like oh the past is the past and the future is going to be the future i can let go of both of those things and that's fine and i can sit here in the present and know okay whatever decisions i need to make right now is just going to be whatever i can do to honor myself right here right now the future is going to play itself out and the past is past so it is what it is let's be present right here today and honestly whoo that's like a whole sermon and a half i feel it's a beautiful place to be it's a beautiful life to live i really hope that i'm speaking to someone at least one person who really needs to hear this because Sometimes you just need to hear someone say something that's just gonna be like, whoa, like light bulb, you know, to take you out of whatever place you may find yourself in. Okay, you know what? It's, it's birthday season. Let's add a little bit of sparkle. This is the Urban Decay Moon Dust. This is the most beautiful, oh my God, I don't even think the camera's picking it up. It is the most beautiful glitter ever. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Let me stop playing around because I need to throw some lashes on. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wear these. These are the same ones that I wore for Ash's wedding. We gotta get this on quickly and then we gotta go. We gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. We gotta go, gotta go. Where is my eyeliner? I am so excited to get these pictures today. 30 is just feeling so special for me. I just feel like I keep learning and growing and I feel really happy about that. Like I'm never staying in the same place. Like every year I just look back and I'm just like, whoa, like I really am a different person than I was last year. Growth is crazy, but growth is always a good thing. Oh yeah, the cat eye that these lashes give is just so delicious. What's the name? So these are, I believe these are Velour lashes. They're the half lash in glowy skin. That's the name. They're so pretty. One thing I'm a little nervous about, y'all. So my mom and I, where's my lash glue? Okay. 
So my mom and I have this sensitivity to red lipsticks, which is really, really crazy, but it's not like every time that it happens, just sometimes with some red lipsticks. Recently, I wore a new red lipstick from the Lip Bar, which is the most beautiful red lipstick ever. But unfortunately, I think it had, I think it also had to do with like the staying power of it. Cause that thing is like a matte liquid lipstick that stays on forever. Um, yeah. I kind of still have like some hives on my lips right now. But for the past couple of days, I literally have not been wearing anything on my lips but Vaseline. And then I've been taking Benadryl every night. But I obviously need to put on some lip products today. So I'm hoping that it doesn't make my lips any worse. Not only am I wearing lip products tonight, my outfit is red and I think it would really eat with a red lip. So I don't think I'm gonna wear the same red lip. I've worn the Fenty red lips before and they haven't really done anything. Like I never had a reaction to those. So I think that might be what I go for today. But yeah, I, I'm definitely taking a risk. You know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and quickly just put on my outfit really quick so you guys can get some of the vibe and then we'll throw on the red lip and then I gotta go. <laughs> Okay, so this is a birthday fit for my birthday photo shoot. This goes like all the way to the floor. It's like a skirt and top situation from Akira. Um, so yeah, I kind of feel like we have to do the red lip. I fear we may need to put my lips at risk, but it'll be fine. And hopefully like, you know, I won't be wearing it like super long but hello and then i have like this big bouquet of roses that look so real but they're fake from amazon Grr, oh my gosh like the red vibe is gonna be so cute okay 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 okay. so i'm going to use fenty the mvp these are the liquid lipsticks that don't actually dry down let's just say a quick prayer for my lips um it's like so perfect because it's the same exact red mm -mm -mm. I mean, I may or may not end up with swollen lips tomorrow, but I think it might be worth it. I'm sorry. But who is she? <laughs> nah, it's worth it, 100%. I'm so excited for this shoot. It just feels like a new era of myself who's just bigger, better, stronger, and more in love with herself than ever. 30s is really looking up for me, y'all. Um, and not just in terms of like what I may accomplish or whatever. I just, it's just the way I feel about myself right here, right now. I hope some of the things I shared in this video encourages at least one of you. I love you guys so much. I wish I could give you a big hug right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and run because I am already late. I was supposed to leave at 515 and it is 524. So I gotta go y'all. Thanks for getting ready with me. I will catch y'all right back here same time same place for the next one. Bye. Love you.